Hello everybody. Looks to be a tough game. A mirror down to oh god yeah, yeah, this is horrible. You can already see from the preview he's got loads of mighty blow. And tackle. Yeah. Three mighty blow. But he doesn't have a he doesn't have a troll. He's got loads of players. Forty-five. Don't even get it, babe. I'll try to play, but you know, depending on how the first few turns go, I might just can't see. I kicked. <laughs> what an idiot must have been on Reddit. If you haven't, if you haven't been keeping up on Blood Bowl Reddit. The latest thing on Blood Bowl Reddit is a bunch of absolute morons saying that kicking is the best way to best decision. Which is just amazing. It's actually amazing. They're all just saying that it's better to kick. <laughs> Yeah, it's just actually absolutely amazing. Oh, he's in. He's off the field. He's back here. That's where I couldn't see him. Flipping game. No, I should have just loaded that. I forgot to load it. I can save it as new formation. It's okay. <laughs> Is that you? Uh, I mean, Chris is right, so he's right to be hard to sway because he's correct. Um. So yep. <laughs> This is fucking going great, isn't it? Didn't even want to pick up the ball, no problem. Hello, Dimmy. Oh god, there's been 141 extra messages. 
since I stopped paying attention to that about matchmaking. It's uh, it's <laughs> the thing about matchmaking on Fumble is like there's so few matches getting made <laughs> that like even if you tweak the matching a bit it's probably not going to make a lot a lot of difference either way right even if you could magically think of a better ranking si a matching system than what Krista has it's not going to make a lot of odds seeing as uh you know it's just it's just numbers numbers is the big is the big thing Blocked the wrong one, didn't I? He should have blocked first in case that was a push. I really want to blitz this guy now, but I know it's stupid. Hello, Jelly. This is tough. Tough, 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 tough. I probably shouldn't have just spun my goblin away. It was unlucky though, right? One in six on the first foul. Like, I think it was worth trying to high roll being behind as I am. Hello, red hair. Sorry, there's no Battle Brothers. <laughs> I'll keep the badly hurt and then concede if I don't score. That's a... Uh... That's the play there. That is the correct play. He's going to try and stupidly pile in here. Especially stupid when you only roll pushes. Oh my god, it's like so many hunting fucking clicks to do anything Jesus fuck one two three four five six G
can we look at the Chaos cheerleaders' armpits? They struggled with armpits in uh, Blood Bowl 2, didn't they? I remember the Amazons. <laughs> whoever uh, whoever was in charge of the Blood Bowl 2 uh, models didn't have the highest regard for human anatomy. <laughs> so <laughs> I could see the same thing being the case in Blood Bowl 3. But who cares? Who cares? Yeah. I know Triskai Decaphobia. Triska Decaphobia. Triska Decaphobia. If exercise and a good night's sleep leads to energy to play Blood Bowl 3, one guess <laughs> one rather take being fat and sleep deprived. <laughs> shouldn't have blocked with him, oh well it's okay, he's got the block. Oh, I can even see the stay put. him kind of. <laughs> Look at your pitiful streak. Uh, yeah, I think so, Red. I, I mean, I think that one. I mean, I don't know. He hasn't. I haven't talked to uh, JP afterwards, but he seemed he seemed pretty uh, pretty done with the whole thing. The rest of us were willing to carry on, and he wasn't, and so we didn't. That's uh, that's that. Yeah, it's fair enough, and it? it's not. It is what it is. I would have rather. I would have rather he carried on, but you know, if he doesn't want to, that's it, isn't it? Like he did all the work, didn't he? So. It is what it is. It's a shame, but there you go. If we can get a different DM in, you know, Fault Force was great, but could only play once a fucking month, which isn't great. And then, uh, that's it, isn't it? I mean, he'd have to want to do it, wouldn't he? That would be amazing. I agree. I agree, Odon, that that would be amazing. But I've been baptized in my own sweat. <laughs> if you can, if you can convince him. Oh, he got killed as well. Fuck that. Out. This is this is over. This is over. Say it's over. I've got to somehow get two squares forward. I mean, it's just a joke, isn't it? What can I do? I've got to somehow get two squares, I can't even get two squares forward. Oh, I can try and do this.
who's coming around the back? I don't really know. It's only a one So I guess the Blitzer has to dodge. Can I not double Blitz? I guess no one comes around the back and I just hope. Injured, good. Good, that gives us a chance. In scoring range now anyway, so. But that, that removal, you know, we've both taken a, well no, I'm down three and he's down two. Yeah, it did show up the book quite nicely. It was really dangerous though, wasn't it, with the troll? <laughs> well, funny enough, Simply a Sensei, it was basically blit everyone could blitz in the old rules in uh, in Blood Bowl Second Dead. You had a movement stat and then like a sprint stat. So, for example, human linemen would be move four and sprint two. So they could move four and block. <laughs> so your whole team could like move a decent amount and block. <laughs> Every single turn. <laughs> Pretty wild. Uh, they weren't as easy as Third Ed. Third Ed had the easiest way to kill people. They were actually it was quite actually quite hard to kill people in uh, in Second Ed. And you had like rosters, like you had big rosters. You could have, like you could have a roster of like twenty players on your team. And then if people got injured, like injuries were worse, right? Like people were injured for like, you know, like realistically, like realistic sports injuries kind of thing. So people were injured for like six games and stuff. And then, so, but then you could bring in your, bring in your bench warmers and like put them into the team and like just have a full squad. Be like a full NFL squad. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't really a real game. Yeah. Not like how we think of now. This is going to be brilliant, this, if this works. Play of the month right here. Just quietly. No, diced. Diced again, never lucky. Yes. I want to get out more in the middle, right? But that was a pretty, pretty decent. Uh... Okay. I mean, I think the Andre game alone has done that. <laughs> or oh, don't <laughs> dicing the pants off Andre has done that. Um...
Yeah, we force the up here. Yeah, do you leave? I mean, to be fair, right, the first dead, I've never... I own the first dead rules. I bought them, like, off eBay um, for, like, super cheap because I just thought I'll get them if they're super cheap and then one day they were super cheap, so I got them and I never... I looked at them, but I didn't read them, really. Um, and then second dead is when I started in, like, 1990. Although it's the 1988 rule set. I, I bought it in 1990. And then... Uh, and you know, second ed was nothing really like third ed. And then third ed was mental compared to nowadays, but you know, essentially the same, right? Block dice and everything was all was all pretty much the same. The big thing about CRP was the uh was the um journeyman right that's the annoying that he gets away with the frenzy trap isn't it the big thing's the the uh oh he's gonna make this dodge then well, of course he does why would he ever not all right but i can i can go to the middle now and take the middle here I second hit in the middle, I can't actually get that far through, can I, afterwards? Still got three re-rolls, so I could double GFI with him. He can go there, one, two, three, four, five. He can go there, and then the troll. But then I've got to do the troll first. So this is pretty annoying. Good. Do another G fighter here, eh? Because he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty hard for him. Four, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's really quite hard for him to get the ball, isn't it? I guess just GFIing gets him free for next turn anyway. Pretty good turn. He appled the second one. Yeah. Maybe I should have appled that badly here, but I was thinking about <laughs> I was thinking about conceding. And our draw is fine, isn't it? Hello, Fimea. Really good getting back in the middle. Mm -hmm. Very annoying, actually. Because obviously he could have just blitzed him and he could have assisted over here whereas now somebody else has to have to find somebody else to blitz him and I can't blitz him from that angle either so then a push might not be enough so it's really really flipping annoying one two three four five six seven eight so I can just I can just double GFI I can just go two laterally so I've just got to blitz him
Oh, shut up. Wow, he got really lucky there, didn't he? He got really lucky there. You can dodge to there. And then I could, but I've got to dodge. So, but then if I'm going to dodge, I just dodge with him anyway. I've got to hit there. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, I've got to do two. So it's just this, isn't it? Because if, no, if I've got to dodge with him anyway. Because at the moment, this is just a 1D blitz, which is like a 3 plus anyway, so that's no good. So I'd have to dodge him to get there, and then I could chain him away. But then there's no, there's just literally no point because I've got to do the dodge anyway. Easy. His kill stays out. Kill stays out. Nine players. He might even go for a quick score with only nine players. Man, that freaks me out every time because it comes up seven and you think, oh my god, he's got two turns. That's a pretty annoying little UI thing there. <laughs> three stream streak. Woo! Watch out, Undertaker. That's an annoying little UI thing there, isn't it? It makes you think, for I guess for a second, there's like blind panic as you think he's got two turns. I've done that so many times. <laughs> I should get the draw anyway. Like he's really got to go for it to, to go for the two one. And there's no sound for the kick. Give me sound so I know that I've got a kick. The touchback, there's no, there's no like sound thing for, so I just start playing my turn. <laughs> I don't know that there's a touchback, you know, so I just start playing my turn, and then so I go to make an LOS block, and I've given the, the ball to a guy in the LOS. <laughs> and while you can see, I'll get used to this and everything. I shouldn't have to, should I? Because. That's just an excuse for it being crap, basically. Humans would get used to anything. KO. This is looking real bad now. Like, he'll probably go for the quick score. But the thing is, he might not win, even if he gets the quick score, might he? So, going for the quick score might lead to him losing, you never know. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I think he's going to foul, which, you know, could work out badly for him, couldn't it? He's surely going to foul. So he could be he could be down a player, his KO could stay out, these two could come back. And obviously he's got a big upside if he removes the troll, but I think this is probably a, a, bad, a bad move on balance. Of course, it works perfectly for him, but I still think it's a bad move on balance. It's only one player down, three, four, five, three, four, five. And he's he's still got eleven, but he is down a big one. But down a block big one. Should have appled it really. I would have appled it if conceding wasn't an option. Yep. 
Yeah, do I um yeah it's pretty it's pretty sad that we dropped the ball but you know maybe maybe if they if they listen to the right people which yes means me <laughs> they can turn it around like surely surely you can get some expert in like you know graphics to make it so that you know because obviously you can't make new pictures and stuff right you just can't like these look good objectively the problem is nobody cares at all about this <laughs> they care for the trailer but when you're playing you care about this and what you need is to be able to tell where the squares are and who's in the squares <laughs> And like putting the graphics down like this, you know, does make it look more of a background, right? Like kind of desaturates or whatever. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to explain what's wrong with it. it like everything's in focus, right? This kind of makes it look a bit blurry. Like Blood Bowl Two was too blurry, right? Blood Bowl Two was too blurry. But and this is a lot crisper, technically better. But and again, it, this isn't quite fair because obviously I've got the graphics turned down, which makes it look better. But if you've got the graphics turned up to full, then the grass is all hyper detailed and it's all, it's even darker as well, it's even darker than this. Like this doesn't look too dark, but it looks darker in the proper thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not even, not even chicken broccoli. Literally zero, zero pounds, zero pence to have the most knowledgeable person on Blood Bowl at your beck and call. No thanks. No thanks, you're wrong, we know better. Isn't what you want to hear, is it? But there you go. But again, loads of it doesn't need me, does it? Do you know what I mean? Like, loads of it just needs, you know, pretty much anyone who plays Blood Bowl, you know? Like, as 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 much as, uh, as much as Mr. Page was campaigning for randoms and stuff, unnecessarily what 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 people should have been campaigning for was a sound effect so that you know when it's your time to kick a sound effect so that you know you've got a touchback like things like that that help you play the game like randoms doesn't matter what the fuck that's kind of what's so annoying about it because it just doesn't matter <laughs> no one cares no one should care about randoms you know and it's just like a pointless change for the hell of it Nobody was asking for or needed or, or anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not top 10 for the season, correct? Not yet. I probably should just put it that way, but I don't know, obviously you want to keep me in the field. Power. Oh, they're miscounted. Stupid. Well, this is okay. It makes me too strong over here. But, um. Oh, she just not GF. Oh, fuck off. Could have just stayed in there and moved him over one, right? But I wanted to move. I wanted to GFI and then move him two. But even then, moving one was probably correct. Oh, God. Right. Much fight, must fight urge to concede. That was such a stupid GFR. That is so stupid. <sighs> Not just because it failed, it just wasn't necessary. Like, I wasn't going to move him to. I thought, oh, well, GFI. And I criticise people for that so much. Like, you know, GFI to make... Uh, Elf columns, like I did one in one over, but it's just not worth a GFI, is it? There's just no need for a GFI there. Just keep him there, move him one over. It got me one square over. Like I'm not going to go two squares over, but I did want it stronger. Like that's that, you know. It's I think it's definitely better to have the lineman there than there, but it's not. It's not. It's not 
that much better enough to risk that, is it? And I know that's obviously ridiculous and unlucky, right? One in six, one in six. And then uh, 40 odd percent. So, like, it was really unlucky. But about, what, one and a half percent chance? But still, there's just no need for it. <laughs> that's a terrible foul, that, isn't it? Actual terrible foul there by him. There you go. Who can say if it was good or bad? Oh, I could have put him, could have blitzed from here, could I and chin my guy out? That was lazy. I'm not playing great this game, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit saddened by, you know, how uh, the unfair matchup and uh, yeah, now look how stupid I look for doing that. Irrelevant GFI. Nobs are OP. I, it's not a win, Dim. It's not a win. It's just a draw, and it's just playing out the draw now. He's not even trying for the quick score. So it's like a one in a, a one in a hundred chance, I guess, of stopping him. And he's quite good. He's got, he's got his guard blitzers on my Blackhawks. That's a pretty good trade, isn't it? I just get to smash them. Smash. using too many to protect the ball, isn't he? The uh, frenzy is a little bit problematic. Oh, that's, that's super annoying. Flip me. Maybe I should have put him at the back. Frenzy is there, isn't he? Which is annoying. Three guys on the down guy. It's 
So obviously it really opens up the switch to this side. But I don't care too much about it. Because he's not scoring early, so I don't care about drawing so it's I'll give you switches, he's got less with him anyway. I, mean, uh, I can roll some dice. Roll some three pluses to do something, maybe. Yeah, the pro player's really been surrounded. He? Just three players surrounding a random lineman is pretty funny. Oh, that was, would have been a great play if he'd made the right play, but he didn't, so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> No play of the month for Valny and 19. Just punches the people away. No side switch. Oh, a little bit of one, maybe. I think the side switch could be bad though. Like he gets him forward, but uh, it's not very well protected. Yeah, surf is up, yeah. Again, depending on what he does with the ball. Does the handoff? Is he going for the win? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking like maybe I could chain him. But uh, it's not happening, is it? I mean, obviously, I get to go for the win as well, realistically. This is as much as me going for the win as it is him going for the win here. turn has it not the greatest turn of ever he might just run back and hand it back off now <laughs> he could just run back hand it off Six operation. No, I can't talk about that. So the question is, does he go for the win? Like turning me over and scoring in three turns is very unlikely. And obviously, if I powered this guy, I could have got some people up here, and it would have made him very hard to reconnect. So he might go back to trying to reconnect. <laughs> Tension. Hmm. He can just run through as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, he can't get there. 
He can run back a little bit and run these ground. He was really shit not getting the power there. Maybe I should have re-rolled it because obviously I do want him to score early. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a this little This all over here is terrible try for him. play better. Eh? So he doesn't score this turn. If he goes back, maybe I can stop him scoring, actually. I don't really know what he's thinking here. Putting him in a nice formation before he scores. Okay. Ah. So ten versus eleven. Four turns to score. I probably want. These blitz is free. I'm going to troll blitz here. I think I've got to, you know, try my hardest to get stupid lucky, haven't I? Two, three, four, five, six. Standing there. We roll the pick up here. Don't even need to. Glorious troll. Yeah, yeah, 10 v 10, yeah. Yeah. Down a block biggin versus a normal biggin. So, obviously down a down bunch of mighty blow, but then a bunch of mighty in the guard, but then I've got a troll, so. It's interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting, super interesting, as Kalon Deterred would say. I didn't mind him putting in three players to hit him. I thought that's a big, big commitment, right? It's a big commitment to hit the troll as well, so if he's making that commitment, it's not terrible.
he didn't have to roll all of the dice, did he? He didn't have to roll all of the dice. <laughs> Oh my god, he makes the dodges as well. Well, even just one dodge is good enough. No, well, maybe not actually, maybe one dodge isn't good enough. I could try and blitz through him, right? That's an option. Guard comes around, blitz, and then bust out through here. Lord's GFIs. Or it's blitz him and push down here. I think blitzing through him is the best bet. Where's he going? One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI. So he can go there. Somebody can go there and he can go here. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Oh. So he can go one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. So he can go here. And this wants to be a GFI. Yep. move him first so that if it doesn't fail it's all right. He has to come around the top here doesn't he? Which is just a GFI. And this guy just needs one now. <laughs> and he should have stood up before. Fuck. And he can go... <laughs> I knew it was a bit stupid, but I thought, you know, I need a bit of need a bit of luck, don't I? Maybe I didn't have to do that GFI, but it was just a three plus to hit the ball then, wasn't it? So I kinda needed that GFI. But moving him saved a GFI. Otherwise I'd have a double GFI to there, so pretty good turn really, like apart from using all of my rerolls. <laughs> well both. Apart from using both rerolls. Pretty good turn. He left a gap, shot through it. Imagine if he just failed the first dodge, it would have been super easy. It was still, he yeah, had dub skulled and then rolled two GFIs. Yeah, I used all rerolls, didn't I? I failed two. I used all three rerolls on one turn, dub skulled the blitz, and then rolled two ones on GFIs. But, got through. Yep, yeah, and he's not scoring, yeah, yeah, that's almost certain that he's not scoring. He could, he could quad GFI with this guy. <laughs> but yep, it's not a loss, and it could be a win. Telling me there's a chance. I mean, that is the good thing about the rerolls, isn't it, is that you can pile them all in. And maybe do something. I think this is just going to be a dodge with the ball carrier, isn't it? Nothing, uh, nothing exciting. How does he get to block him? Oh, did he push him into an extra block? Yeah. yeah.
He blocked his own path there with a follow, didn't he? So he can't get that black orb through, so he's only got this blitzer left. So he can't tag everything, so... This is super interesting. Does that matter? <sighs> Annoyingly, I think it does matter. You can 2D him and then dodge. What I was going to do was I was going to block him, push him to there, and then he was going to assist and he was going to blitz him and chain, chain, uh, oh, I couldn't chain him off anyway, so no, there's no chaining anyway, so just 2D him and then dodge, dodge for the win, he hasn't, yeah, he can't score, so it's a 2D for a push and then a dodge, easy. Just the, why does it take a million fucking clicks? Well, hey! Amazing. Oh. That should be play of the, honestly, that previous turn there should be play of the month, shouldn't it? Because it was just good play to use, you know, you recognize the only chance that you have. Use all your rerolls on it. Nothing amazing happened. It was just great play from Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> the best there ever was. The best there ever will be. <laughs> Liquid Blood Bowl. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could think about, like, if he gets a... Like, he's not going to one turn, so I, I should just play against the right. Glorious. I? No, I, I won't give right. in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello. Well, time out it is now, but you know what I mean. Hello, Papa Piccio. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for... 66 glorious months. 16 and a half beaver pregnancies. Yeah, it's playable. I wouldn't go higher than that. I wouldn't go higher. Like, I mean, you, if you saw the previous turn where it just standing up is like, it's so much of a chore to just stand your men up. Flip me. Yeah, no, I know that, Jay Lee, but it's still just stupid, isn't it? It's still fucking stupid, man.
Yeah, no, uh, no, it hasn't. No, I mean, I, mean, I didn't. Oh no, the apple did disappoint me because I used it by mistake. I didn't use it by mistake. I wanted to use it, and uh, I was so eager to use it because it's up there on a KO, isn't it? It's up there on a KO. So then I went to use it, and it it wasn't. <laughs> I need to. Uh, yeah, bound a button to spacebar, which is also unreasonable, right? Like that's also unreasonable. But yes, I guess using a button on your mouse is better. But I just it should you should you shouldn't have to. Like you know what I mean, it's still all workarounds, isn't it? The fact that people have found workarounds and stuff it doesn't excuse the game being bad. <laughs> Can I make this a 3D? No, probably not. Three, because he's four, isn't he? So I have to hit him from here. Three, four, five, six, or seven. Oh, no, I could. I could. Can I hit there? G if I haven't got... I've got a re-roll. All right, fuck it. We're going to 3D him. Go for the foul. Diced. Yeah, indeed, Jaleve, indeed. I thought he was pl he was always oh, only platinum. I was got I thought platinum was better than diamonds, so I was like, ooh, he's platinum, but no, he's worse, but still. Good. Good win. Yeah, I was pretty shocked that it wasn't a snake GFI. TBH. How much is it for the uh, stat 18? Next game, hopefully. This big and I'll score if you can. Really wants the block. Right, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.